Good evening. Welcome to QT Web News. Good evening. A cleanup is underway west of Brisbane after a massive fish kill. But just what caused the death of hundreds of catfish in the Brisbane River remains a mystery. SEQ water crews tipped bucket after bucket of dead catfish into a skip bin on the bank. Luckily, endangered species, Murray River cod and Queensland lungfish were both unaffected. So far, authorities have ruled out the possibility of chemical contamination. The Department of Environment and Heritage Protection are testing water samples collected over the past few days. It is hoped the results will pinpoint why the fish are dying in such large numbers. A spokesperson for Somerset and Wyvernhoe Fish Stocking Association can only speculate about the cause. It could be uh, something as simple as a very high dissolved oxygen level, which catfish can, be, um, can have a problem with at times. He says the waterways are safe for recreational purposes and the fast breeding catfish will return. Joe Curlis, QUT News. The long term effects of last year's Brisbane floods are being highlighted in a new QUT production. The multimedia documentary brings an artistic approach to the worst natural disaster in Queensland's history. Tragic events like the Brisbane floods aren't easily forgotten and filmmakers Paul Young and Michael Leo want to make sure of that. Their multimedia production Floodplains takes a look at how far we've come since the events of January 2011. We were really wanting to cover maybe some of the long-term effects of the floods and how it affected people both um, financially and more, but more so emotionally in the long term. The documentary is accompanied by a live score performed by the Quadratic Contingency. The ensemble used their cinematic improvisational style to add to the film's meaning. We played along with the film a fair bit to have an idea, all right, in this section we want certain extended techniques used in, to, I guess, accentuate these emotions or these elements of the film. The creators hope the mix of music and imagery with stories of flood victims will leave a lasting impact on viewers. I hope they actually uh, learn something or feel something or um, some of the issues that we cover are the fact that some of this stuff has been forgotten, so hopefully it'll uh, perhaps remind them that some things are still going on. It took four months on a minimum budget to produce floodplains. The hard work culminates here at the Metro Arts Studio, where it's screening as part of this year's Brisbane Festival. If the film is well received, the creators have plans to release it online, a way of reminding more people of a milestone in Queensland's history. Tess Gilfetta, QT News. Queensland public school teachers plan to strike next month accusing the government of trying to erode their working conditions. About 30,000 teachers could stop work on October 16 in what's believed to be their first strike since 2007. They're unhappy the government's pay rise offer is in exchange for the removal of 20 existing conditions, including class sizes. The final countdown is on for the much-awaited Australian release of Apple's fifth-generation iPhone. And phone retailers in Brisbane are going out of their way to cater for buyers. Telstra's Queen Street store will be treating customers like royalty tomorrow with promotional staff serving food and drinks. And they'll even mind your place in the queue. Telstra is confident of keeping up with demand. So we'll be getting more stock um, throughout the weekend and then into early next week as well. Every major phone company is competing to market the best smartphone. This one's 4G. Yeah, we've had that for a while. This one's got a big screen. This one has a bigger one. And we can share videos instantly. You can watch a video while you're sending an email. The iPhone 5 is 18% thinner and 20% lighter, with a faster processor and improved camera. However, there are still skeptics out there. Well, apparently it's only marginally better and it's probably not worth my time investing in a new phone. And then there are those who just want the latest toy. We're just sort of keeping up with what's new. Apple, however, maintains that the iPhone 5 at $799 will be the biggest thing since the iPhone itself. With all the anticipation in the lead up to the iPhone 5 release, it would appear to be the best phone on the market. But what are the other options out there? There's the Samsung Galaxy Note 2. When you've got the ease of having it to put all your music on, you can just simply plug it into a computer, copy and paste. So it's really easy that way. And then there's the Nokia Lumia 900. Just a simple side button to light it up, slide to open, and you get nice tiles, which are really easy to use. In some other cities, stores will open at midnight, but those in Brisbane hungry for an iPhone 5 will have to wait until 8am tomorrow. Kate Fallis, QUT News. Thinking about buying an electric car? 
Would free renewable power and half-price parking in the city convince you? The incentives are part of Brisbane City Council's 12-month City Smart initiative. The electric car revolution is motoring into Brisbane. This is about changing the way we use transport and more importantly, collaborating to build a sustainable city for the future. The trial comes after reports that one in five cars sold in Australia by 2020 will be electric. This trial is going to allow Brisbane businesses and Brisbane residents to get their first taste of driving electric vehicles. They're quiet, they're convenient, there's little impact on the environment from these vehicles. There are also other benefits. The running cost for electric vehicles is half that of a high efficiency petrol or, or diesel car. And charging the car is simple. You just plug it into a PowerPoint. But the cost and range limitations make it a hard sell. These vehicles are very expensive because it's new technology and also the range is quite short. So for those motorists that have to do long trips, they've got some challenges in terms of finding enough electricity to go the whole distance. At this stage, only 48 of Queensland's 4 million registered cars are electric and their uptake is unlikely to increase with price tags of up to $50,000. Lauren Crome, QUT News. The Titans are recruiting new squad members. You don't have to know how to play football though, but you have to be fit and flexible. The football season might be over for the Titans, but not for the Titanettes, the club's cheerleaders. This Sunday, budding cheerleaders from the ages of six onwards are encouraged to come down to the Ike and Dance studio at the Gold Coast and audition. Just um, doing the stunting and the acrobatics and doing all those new skills and then the best part about being a Titanet is going out on that field and performing in front of thousands of people. Nicole Cordy is a current Titanet. She's getting ready to perform at the Sport Aerobic World Championships in the Netherlands. I'm so excited about the championships. I've been counting down for a good month now. <laughs> Cheerleaders are an important part of the football team, helping keep the crowds on their toes. They have fun and if they're having fun, it uh, means that everyone else in the stands is having fun. So it's really, really important. But the most important thing, they must know how to move. Cheerleaders perform amazing stunts in front of huge stadium crowds. One thing I've learnt though, is that it's not all as easy as it seems. Georgia Fardoulis, QUT News. Time now for a look at the weather. Today has been another warm spring day across most of the Sunshine State. Temperatures in the southeast today and Brisbane's getting warmer. A maximum temp of 32 degrees today. The Gold and Sunshine coasts hit 27, while the top at Ipswich was 31. Around the nation tomorrow and Sydney should peak at 25 degrees. Adelaide should reach a top of 20 and expect a high of 21 in Perth. The forecast for Queensland and Cairns is expected to reach 30 degrees. Rockhampton 31, Bundaberg 28 and further west expect a scorcher in Longreach at 37. The outlook for Brisbane. Tomorrow we may see a late shower with a top of 32. Saturday should be fine and mostly sunny. Then Sunday, expect another possible shower and a top of 28 degrees. And that brings you up to date with the weather. And that's all the news we have for now. We'll be back tomorrow with more QUT News. Goodbye. Goodbye.